Filters, pretty useful for mixing, right? Uh, today we're gonna check out a modulated creative filter effect. SSF from Sixth Sample. So here's the website, uh, this company, I didn't have any interaction with them, but they saw one of my videos. They, uh, the creator of this plugin sent me a, uh, a free copy to try out, to have fun with and make a video if I liked it. And I do like it. So we are going to look at this, but it's essentially a dual filter with 40 different filter shapes and you can modulate either one or both of the filters and even sequence those filter cha changes. Let's just listen to a little bit of what I have here in this, this track. I got a bass, I've got uh, a couple loops. Just to get started with this, we're gonna look at the kick drum. So we can use this as just a simple filter. Pick a filter shape here in this section and bring down the cutoff. With this particular sound, I'm hearing quite a lot of this sort of resonant peak. This is a synth uh, kick drum. Weird sort of ringing. I'm gonna bring down the, the cutoff. And I don't really want to affect the low end, so I'm using a low pass. And let's just change this up to a 18 dB per octave low pass. And right there is about where I like it. And, you know, this is just a basic filter at this point. So here's the bass. And let's bring up the plug in again. And so we're on the bass and I'm just gonna mess around with this. So that's sounding pretty cool. What if this was able to move? Well, of course we can. You can just click on this little wiggle button, the sine wave shape. And now this curve is how the, uh, the filter will move from up, to, up and down. And the speed is the slider below. So we want this maybe on one bar. Oh, there's not really one bar. Um, I'm not sure why. One to one option here. I th at first I thought it was one bar, but it's not one bar. It's one quarter note. If we want to change the tension of these points. You can hear that you can really change the, the vibe of the song by just, uh, you know, choosing how it's coming up in relation to the kick. Now, what if we want l a little less filtering? This green section on the sides of the fader will limit the range of that motion, which is pretty intuitive, I find. All right, so like you can make a fast sort of stuttery effect. Let's look at some of the other uh, filters. So there's from six to 96 dB per octave steepness for the low pass, for the high pass, then there's a band pass. And again, you can change the steepness, you can change the cue, how narrow that, that point is. Um, if we turn off modulation, we can see that here, how, how narrow that is. We've got all pass filters.
And when it's at 100% wet, you don't really hear anything, but if you change the mix down a little bit, you see that the, the filter curve changes because it's, uh, yeah, it's messing with the phase. So that's the all pass filters. Uh, there's band stop, low shelf, high shelf, more of a EQ sort of uh, curves. Um, then we've got phasers. So let's do a phaser 4X wide. And I can't think of any other filter that has a phaser mode. That's pretty sweet. Um, and then we've got formants. I'll turn it up a little bit. Different vowel shapes, uh, again, not something you find in a normal EQ or filter plugin. There's various um, modified filter shapes. Like distorted, low pass, high pass. And then under the miscellaneous, I think there's some really fun things with the comb plus, the comb, comb filtered reverb, sample and hold. The low end on that was just insane. All right, going back to one that's actually like useful for this, let's go to the like the low pass 24. Now what if you want this movement to go in the opposite direction. There's a little button here to flip that. Or flip the direction of a curve. Let's say we got this sort of curve. We want to flip it. So what we see in the bottom is opposite of this. There's a lot more we can do with the modulation, actually. Um, so in addition to these three buttons, we also have this step mode. And so we can have multiple steps in this bottom section. We can even set this to multiple bars and then like drag in different shapes in here, which is pretty cool. And now each of these segments can have a different curve. We can set all to default, and we can also randomize all. We can randomize just the selected one. We can set one back to default, or we can randomize all. And we can shuffle everything, randomize everything. What I'm actually gonna do here is go to factory, and I think factory A was pretty cool. So you can really change the groove of that pattern, whether it's drums or a synth, by changing these different sort of step sequenced um, modulation changes. Really cool. I mentioned this is a dual filter. We've only looked at one filter so far. And if you click on two, everything's repeated and we have a second filter uh, that we can apply here, so.
And they are in, se in series, by the way. We also have a panning mode, so this filter can work on just the left, and this filter can work on just the right. Mid-side mode, it sounds like this. You're not gonna hear much. You're not gonna hear much with the mid side stuff because this is a mono sound. There's there's nothing nothing stereo. You need to have stereo to mess with mid side, but it's there if you have stereo. There's a drive control and there's also this little button here which adds a, a clipper to the filter, so it's not gonna it's not gonna exceed zero, but it's also going to um, sort of distort. And then there's also a drive. When the clipper is turned off, peak volume is louder, but it's more distorted when it's on uh, using this drive. This drive control is more of a gain control when the clipper is off, sort of a, a boost. Perceived loudness goes up, but peak level goes down because we're adding distortion. As you can see, this is pretty creative um, filter plugin. It does a lot more than you first expect. Yeah, but if you're just using it as a basic filter, it, it's got everything. A couple quick odds and ends after that. Uh, we've got different um, sort of UI styles. Pretty cool. There's presets for the step sequenced modulation, and there's uh, presets for kind of the, the whole the whole thing. So I'm gonna put in another instance of SSF on the master track. And I'm just gonna to go to one of the, uh, one of my favorite presets here, Robot G3. I love that. That's clear. Let's add in one big one. And let's reverse it. Let's look at some of the rhythmic presets. Yeah, I really enjoy this plugin. So yeah, if you like the sound of this plugin and you think it might be useful for your uh, creativity, yeah, check the link in the description for buying it. So that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks to Sixth Sample for uh, providing this plugin for me to check out. Uh, I'm sure I'll be using it a lot. And uh, yeah, very fun. Check it out. Thanks for watching. See you next time.